Right, so now you want to tame a pterodon. Probably your first flyer, right? You got your parasaur going. We got our flak armor. You got your crossbow. Uh, and you're ready to start taming more and more dinos. Uh, maybe you've tamed an Ankylio, or maybe an Ankylio comes after your flyer. However you want to do it. All right, so you want to know how to tame... All right, so you want to tame a pterodon. So let's jump into taming a pterodon very quickly here and get you back into the game. What you're going to need is a crossbow and two to ten crank arrows. And then depending on your taming method, you may need narcotics and snarko berries. All right, so if you go for, we'll say, a level 150 pterodon, and you're going to tame it with raw meat because that's probably what you're going to have access to now unless you've gotten lucky and found a sheep early game. Uh, you're going to need 140 narcotics to keep it asleep or 635 narco berries. And if you already tamed your parasaur, the narco berries are pretty, pretty easy to get and you can get those after you've knocked the pterodon out. And of course, you need a bola or a couple of bolas in case you miss. That way you can bolo the pterodon, keep it in place uh, while you knock it out. And of course, once you have the pterodon knocked out, you either need dino gates or spiked fences to keep the pterodon uh, safe from wild dinos so that may want to eat it. So of course, you can always head out to Herbivore Island like we've done in our previous videos and uh, tame some there. There's usually a lot of pterodons out on Herbivore Island. Whether or not you're able to find a high level on Herbivore Island is who knows, right? You just see if you can't, kill some, wait for them to respawn, kill some more. But uh, just look everywhere for pterodons. They're kind of all over the starter beaches. And you're going to want to find a high level. Uh, for pterodon, I wouldn't do less than level 100 because it's not going to be able to carry weight or fly very far if you do. All right, so we got a pterodon here. What level is it? Level 4. No. Oh. All right, and then for this video, of course, we're going to be taming a level 150 pterodon. Uh, so we'll bullow it, and then I'll show you a trick with the crossbow. It takes six arrows to knock it out, unless you shoot it in the back of the head. If you get it in the right place, it only takes one arrow. Uh, if not, it'll take two. All right, Fiona. We get it right in the back of the head, and yep, perfect. One arrow. All right, so easy and easy enough. Now it's going to sleep for about 18 minutes, but at about 15 minutes, you want to torp it up. Alright, so once you got your pterodon knocked out, it's going to stay asleep for about 19 minutes where it wakes up and flies away. So you want to go ahead and get it uh, trapped, or surround it with a dino gate or some, uh, you know, wooden spiked fences. Keep it safe from pegos and uh, raptors, things like that, anything dangerous in the area. Uh, if you have bigger dinos in the area, like rexes and stuff, you're better off putting dino gates around it. But if you don't have dino gates yet, do what you have to do. Uh, spike fence is perfect. Otherwise, you're going to have to stay right next to it and defend it the whole time. Uh, and keep it from getting bit. It gets hit once, same effectiveness drops a lot. Okay, so now you got the pterodon knocked out. It's going to wake up in about 18 minutes or so. At about 15 minutes, I would go ahead and start narking it up. About 160 narco berries will refill its torpor from almost zero to full. Uh, it takes it about seven minutes to fill up. All right, uh, and then it takes it, then again, like 15 minutes after that, it drops back down, right? So once you fill it up the first time, then you can come back after 20 minutes and do it again. If you're feeding it raw meat, you're going to need, it's going to take about two hours to tame them. If you're giving them um, prime meat, so it'll take about 17 prime meat in 45 minutes. You want to put the prime meat on them after the 45 minutes has passed, though, because prime meat spoils so fast and stuff like that. You just leave its inventory empty until then. That's another thing about taming dinosaurs like this. Do not put the food in their inventory until the full amount of time has passed. That way, if they take damage, you can let them wake up and start over. They, if they wake up and you knock them back out, their food is still drained. All right, now, of course, if you found mutton, uh, it only takes about 35 minutes and only requires 14 mutton. You'll get a slightly better tame. But, I mean, that's it only saves you about 10 minutes and gives you just slightly higher effectiveness. Season prime meat early game is going to be a pretty good uh, option. Oh, and of course, if you feed it narcotics instead of narco berries, it'll take 30 narcotics to fully refill its torpor, and it only takes about three minutes for it to fill all the way up. So you're losing a, about four minutes of uh, extra time there. So you would need to check on it again in 15 minutes after uh, you start filling it back up just to be safe. And if you do, fit, do feed it raw meat, or I think it's 51 raw meat to fully tame it, of course, put more than that on there just to be safe. Once you have access to kibble, you can use regular kibble or better to tame a pterodon, and it'll take about 7 uh, to fully tame it, and it'll still take about 25-35 minutes. Right, now that you've tamed your first pterodon, you can take to the skies, of course, until they level up. You won't be able to fly very far with them, but hey, you know, the fly is better than not being able to fly. It'll give you access to a whole lot more dinos and areas uh, much quicker and safer. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button. Have an awesome day.